Well, it's time to go back and trim around all my trees with my Ferris. This is about the only time I ever take the rhino hide canopy off my mower. Let me show you how easy it is with the easy off on struts. First, you loosen the hand knob on each side. Then just push straight up using the struts as hand holes. To reinstall, just put the strut ends on the bracket pins and pull slide down. Then retighten the hand knobs. I've got my Coyote here and I'll show you what it's like on a larger tractor. I only take the Coyote canopy off in the winter when I have to store it in my low overhead garage for easy access for snow removal. That's the same reason I have my ROPS at half mask. I can't hardly miss an opportunity to show how stout the rhino hide canopy is. This is me getting a little exercise. Shows the static strength of the rhino hide support system. A fellow on one of the forums said it couldn't be very strong the way it's cantilevered from the back. You be the judge. A lot of our other videos show what a beating the rhino hide shell will take. That's all I got. <coughs> this is the shake test. You can see that I'm shaking, I'm shaking the whole tractor here. This is your tough top. Sun guard canopies are still being made and they're now using the same support system as the rhino hide. Well, it's pretty conclusive that the tough top, while usually cheaper, is a whole lot less canopy. It has a very thin two-piece plastic top with a thin metal retainer around the perimeter and you have no adjustment up or down or front to back. Also, they say don't trailer at over 35 miles an hour and fold the canopy down. Sounds pretty flimsy to me. Well, I'm going for a little R&R &R in the sun right now, but I will be out in the sun with my Rhino Hide canopy. It sure makes a big difference to my comfort level. Thanks for watching.